name drives know as well. I'm sure some of them are interested. Yeah, I'm for that Muslambi Nyare. The first ones are coming down to Puza now, but for some time. I'm sure they'll be here for a while. Okay, so. I won't be on this channel, but anyone can pull in when they want. They're coming in from the sort of the eastern side, that piece of the dam that goes up to those dead trees coming to drink there. With that little baby coming in, tiny little calf. Back there, following his mum, youngsters at them over the next wall. Perfect like ring size box. All the way right around the front of us to the side of us. And more of them will start going into the water now as well. As more of them start drinking, obviously their booze will churn up the mud a bit. So more and more the others will want to go deeper into the water to get you some nice clean water. probably doing is there's a log just in front of it that piece of stick sticking out the water I don't know what it's doing just licking the branch maybe or just finding it curious it's a young buffalo like young buffalo often tend to do or young animals in general they find things curious they're still discovering their world so the main body of the herd really arriving now you can see lots of them starting to come out Open area, rough estimate, just the patch we're looking at now into the trees, there's about 80, 90 buffalo. And there's probably as many on that side again, so I see, still think around about 200, probably a pretty close estimation. But just look at that there, what a view. Buffalo all spread out, bunches and bunches of them. So it's a buffalo further there as well. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Maybe another small part of the herd, but more likely maybe just some bulls that live in this area or hang around this area. Well, if you've maybe just joined us, in the last few minutes and you lucky enough to just join us in the middle of the spectacle happening right here now we are Juma Game Reserve in the Sabi Sands in South Africa and it's about 20 past 8 in the morning we've had a spectacular morning so far starting off from the word go with buffalo no starting off with wild dogs and then we got these buffalo and they've just all starting to make their way down now for a drink as you can see buffalo in this big herd here so if you've just joined us please enjoy please spend some more of your morning with us who knows what else can come along? 
My name is Peter. We've got Helen with us here on the vehicle, on the camera, and back at the live control center. Haley is making sure that all of this that we're looking at, as well as whatever might be coming down to the water holes, are happening live. And having a look at it. So, uh, very welcome. It's been a spectacular morning so far, and it really is our pleasure to have you with us. Very odd. I think um, maybe the camera. Yeah, maybe just it's literally as I move my camera. I mean, it could have been coincidence, but more likely maybe just the light reflecting off the camera lens or something. Because he just momentarily spooked. Actually, just one individual right down to our left here. He moved, and then it's a very much a herd instinct. If one buffalo suddenly moves, the rest just do it instinctively because they don't know what it is. So they'll all start coming down to the water again. is that most often the majority of the group won't actually know what they're doing they're just doing it out of instinct they're following the one in front of them and the one in front of them is following the one in front of them so it's a case of a few ruling what the most of them are doing something I think that quite often happens with humans as well Almost certainly they'll come back for more water. And most of them haven't even had a proper drink yet. Only about half the herd has had a, a good session of drinking so far. So definitely they'll filter back down. Something that you guys will start enjoying more and more over the next few months, and I know we keep saying it, Nick says it, I say it all the time, is that these water holes will become increasingly popular. More and more animals will come down for drinks as there's less and less water available. And that's why we've got cameras at Gauri Water Hole as well as here at Buffelzook, just to see as much of that as possible. We've got a big herd of buffalo here at the moment at Buffelzook Dam, as well as the oxpeckers are benefiting. They're getting very special food, something that other animals aren't really competing for, and they're also quite safe. Then also one of your species, in this case the oxpeckers, are dependent on this relationship. So perfect mutualistic relationship. Obviously the buffalo are extremely tolerant. They're happy to let the oxpeckers go into the ears, the corner of their eyes, all over, because they know that they're getting cleaned. See them all over.